Hey, I'm Steve from This Week With Cars, and this is my Caterpillar Dozer. This is a 7U version. It has a Track Surveyor HT4 loader attachment on it. And as you can see, it also has the flat tracks for better turning radius. So this is a Caterpillar Force. with a Track Excavator loader attachment on it. You can see the flatter tracks for a better turning radius. This is the Track Excavator HT4 loader setup. So I'm gonna take the battery cables off, take them back to the shop and clean them up real well. Okay, I have my battery cables all cleaned up. So I just need to get them back on there and put some batteries in here. Okay, I've got my cables reconnected. I've got two batteries thrown in there. Let's see what happens now. Okay, I'll turn it to the start position. Nothing. The solenoid is clicking. But the starter is not turning, so I probably need to take the starter off and get that rebuilt. Well, I think I need to get the starter rebuilt, but it'd be a whole lot easier to move the dozer to my shop. So I've got a buddy here showing up with his truck and trailer and we're gonna get it moved. Here comes Ticey with his amazing truck. This trailer is fitted with a giant winch, so it'll be no problem to get the dozer up there. There she goes, up onto the trailer like it's nothing. unloaded and get this thing running. While I'm waiting for some parts, I'm gonna take these two covers off so that I can see the track mechanism to see what it's gonna to take to tighten the track up. Well, it looks like something's been living under that cover. Looks pretty fresh, doesn't look that old. I got the covers off the other side as well. Much older uh, animal nest in this side. All right, I got the power washer out. I'm gonna clean this up, make it a whole lot easier to work on. See how dirty the area inside the tracks is, but 
Especially I want to get all this grease cleaned off, so I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. Okay, let's take a look at it now. A little bit cleaner in the engine bay. A lot cleaner out here to work on the tracks. I got some of the grease off the side of the engine on this side. Still needs to be cleaned up a lot more. Alright, I'm just going to check the oil here. Dipstick is hidden down here. Oil's up at the full mark, so that's good. It's kind of hard to get it back in. You can't really see what you're doing. Okay, here's the rebuilt starter. I got my new starter solenoid. Uh, if you see... This appears to be the same exact one that was on there originally. When I get the old one off, I'll be able to see if this does bolt up, but it looks like it should be a direct bolt on for that one. So that's where I'm gonna start. All right, I got the old starter solenoid out and the bolt pattern on the bracket is the same. I held them up to each other. And it looks like it's just going to just bolt in and uh, work great. Okay, I've got the new starter and solenoid installed. I think it's time to give it a go. I think that's it for part one with the cat d4 tune in to more videos to see what happens if you want to see more videos like this comment below and click subscribe